In this training video we're going to talk about different ways of uploading photos in Zephyr. There will be multiple ways of uploading your pictures. We'll talk about uploading through the bids and the invoice, the damage property report, and uploading through the photos and documents uploader. When you create a bid or an invoice, you would create a line item for each item that needs to be addressed. In this case we've created a bid for capping exposed wires and applying kills to treat water stains and um, due to uh, mold issues. Anytime you create a line item in the bid, the invoice, or the damaged property report, you have to itemize at least one photo if the value is greater than zero. This is one of the easiest ways of uploading photos through Zephyr. I'll give you an example of how this works. The very first line item we have is capping the exposed wires. What we would do is we would click on the camera icon to the far right here and we would just browse to our pictures. And what we do is we just find the pictures related to that, any wires that need to be capped, and we can apply those. You'll see that the description for the line item becomes a description for the photo. Since these are bids that are already marked as before, and all we have to do is just click close, and they've been attached. We'll do this again. The second one is applying kills to the water stains. We'll just click on the camera icon, again browse to our photos, we can show the pictures of the moldy wall. Once we've attached those, we click close and you see that those photos have been attached. Now we would do the same thing for the invoice, but you have to remember that the, the description always becomes the label for the photo. So if you've got a hundred photos, you don't want to associate them all to one line item. For example, this is a trip charge. You won't want to put all your, your work related to different things like uh, these wiring or the, the mold because it would state trip charge as the label for the photo. In this case what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go through and grab a photo maybe of the front of the house or something like that to show that we were at the property. Once we attach those you'll see that the photos are there. You also have the ability to choose if it's a before or after so if we're invoicing for something like maintaining the lawn, you can choose before or after shots. Once they're all associated, you're all set. Another way of doing photos is by clicking on the photo, Photos and Documents button. This is going to take you into a photo uploader. Here you can see any photos that you've associated to this order. They'll be to the right here surrounded in yellow. But you can also go through and just grab a series of other photos that, that um, you need to attach to this. Let's go in here and we'll grab these photos. Now what this allows you to do is you can kind of go through and do mass labeling. So you could say debris and front yard, bricks, okay. And here's a before shot. I'll click the before icon and I'll move that, that over. Now, instead of typing everything in again, I'll just choose after. I'll grab the picture of the bricks removed, and I'll move that. And you'll now see that the photos have been moved over to the right here, and all the labeling has been done. You could do mass labeling as well. Um, you could say stuff like, uh, you know, water meter. Okay, and you can grab a series of photos. These are the befores. Um, here's a bunch of pictures of the water meter and they're all attached. We'll move those over and here's the afters. Now this also gives us the ability to itemize photos to the line items of the bids and invoices as well. If we choose one of the radio buttons at the top of the screen where it says bids or invoice you can see the drop down um, we have here is for uh, each of the line items as well as the invoice. So if we wanted to say here's the invoice, trip charge, and again we wanted to add another photo to of the front of the house, we could do it just like that. And that's the most simplest way of adding photos and documents to uh, Zephyr.